Showing a photo ID when heading to the polls might not seem like a big deal, but for some, it can be the difference between exercising the right to vote or being shut out. The right to vote is a keystone of American democracy. But in recent years, laws in more than a dozen states are making it harder and harder for some people to cast their ballot. Things were a little different this 2016 election, the first in 50 years without the full protection of the Voting Rights Act. The 1965 act required lawmakers in states with a history of discriminating against minority voters to get federal permission before changing voting rules. The point was to block discrimination before it occurred. But in 2013, the Supreme Court overturned this provision. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg warned this was like throwing away your umbrella in a rainstorm because you're not getting wet. The result was a flood of new voting legislation in states across the country that led to things like shortening early voting periods, closing polling centers, and requiring stricter voter ID policies. Supporters, largely Republicans, say these are common sense ID laws that prevent voter fraud. After all, you need a photo ID for things like passing through an airport or opening a bank account. But it really means the right to vote is jeopardized for millions of people across the nation as 11% of the voting age population don't actually have photo IDs. Critics say the new laws discriminate against minorities, as well as the poor, the young, the elderly, and those with disabilities, who also happen to be the people most likely to vote Democrat. Now, why not just go out and get an ID? For a lot of people, it's not that simple. They may have been born in homes rather than hospitals, so their birth certificates may get lost or their names misspelled in official city records. They may not be able to get to the DMV, and since elections take place on weekdays, many people can't take time off to vote. So restricting early voting sometimes creates insurmountable challenges. In Raleigh, North Carolina, the NAACP challenged the law in federal court, and the courts agreed. A federal appeals court struck down the law, saying it targeted African Americans with almost surgical precision. In May, the Supreme Court upheld this decision. As of the 2016 election, 33 states had voter identification laws. 12 or more of those were considered strict requirements. So how are all these laws justified? Proponents of stricter voting laws say requiring photo IDs before casting a vote prevents voter fraud. But there's no evidence of widespread voter fraud. A 2014 study from Loyola Law School found just 31 credible incidents of voter fraud out of one billion votes cast. At last count, at least 99 bills to restrict voting have been introduced in 31 states in 2017. And with midterm elections coming, the battle over voting rights keeps getting hotter. 